you know, like, eh, 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 you know. We don't want to give casket ready with our summer skincare routine. At least I don't. So what's going on? Maybe this is not gonna be it. This is not doing what I thought it was gonna do. This stuff, girl. A little perplexed by that, shocked, in awe, bamboozled, you know, all the adjectives known to man. That's what I'm feeling right now. Hey girl, good morning. Wagon et to saying it's your girl Minan Dubia. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what I think is a very simplistic morning skincare routine for the spring and summer season. And the reason why I say that is because I'm not focusing too much on hydration per se in this routine. You'll see, and I'll explain what I mean and why I'm choosing each of the products. I hope that this will be helpful for you if you don't know where to begin this summer and spring when it comes to a skincare routine. I'm gonna mix in some high-end, some low-end products, give you some options, and talk you through each of the steps so you can hopefully leave this video understanding why I'm choosing each of the products and how to use them, what they do, what they're for, all of the things. So if you are not already subscribed, do that now. Or if you wanted to wait until the end of the video, Video, feel free to do that. When I'm not here, I am on Instagram, so make sure you follow me there. Same name, Minna underscore Adibia. I'm also on TikTok, so go ahead and follow your girl on there. Same name as well. If you're in the U.S., feel free to text me. Join my text community. It's free. Anyone can join U.S. only. Sorry about that, but also awesome for those of you here in the U.S. And also comment let me know if you have a skincare routine. It's easy to assume that many of you do. I do discuss skincare a lot, both here and on IG, but if you don't have one and you just are missing a few pieces or just don't know where to begin, comment and let me know. Let's get started. Now, let me just say, because this is important, this morning when I woke up, I did not wash my face. All I did was apply a serum to my skin to rehydrate, add some more water to my skin, and then I applied a moisturizer and then an SPF, and then I did my morning routine, I worked out all of the things. So now, I'm gonna wash my face. So I say that because many of us don't need to wash our face in the morning. Unless you wake up extremely oily and you feel, you don't like that feeling, then sure, wash it, do your routine, work out, shower, wash it again, right? But for me, I wake up normally feeling dehydrated, dry, so I go right into hydrating my skin. I clean my eyes, obviously, that's important. I hydrate my skin, do my workout and all of that, and then I will shower and wash my face all over again, okay? So very important point right there. Comment below and let me know if you wash your face first thing in the morning or if you don't. Now, if you don't work out in the morning, then I'm sure you do go right in with a wash. But if you do work out in the morning, just a little tip, maybe you don't wanna wash your face, do that after you work out. First things first is this Thayer's cleanser. Now it's so interesting because I feel like a lot of us, when we think of Thayer's, we think of witch hazel. And when we think of witch hazel, we think of demonic. Like we think it's just terrible. And I was apprehensive to use this because we think it's gonna strip our skin bald. It's gonna make us extremely dry. But the company was like, no, you know, I ain't gonna do that. So I said, you know, let me go ahead and give it a try. And I've been using this for a while now. As you can see, I'm halfway done. I have been enjoying this. I have not felt dry from this. This is the pH balancing daily cleanser with 5% filet of aloe vera. Okay, fragrance free. I like it. It's a gel. It feels like a gel. It it's like clumpy, like a gel, as you can see. I enjoy it. It reminds me of Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, the way that it's got clumps, so it just feels like a gel. This is a gentle cleanser, so it's not going to make my face feel dry, stripped, and that's a good thing. You don't need that because of all the steps we're going to do. I used to feel like I needed to use a very harsh cleanser where when I finished, my skin was like paper dry, and I felt like when I achieved that sensation, then I had done something right. Absolutely not, that is not what you want to do no matter what your skin type is that is not something that you want to do now if you still decide that that's what you want to do do what you want to do but if you're asking me you should not be stripping your skin entirely dry there are steps you can take like exfoliation and we'll get to that in a second so first is the gentle cleanser just kidding so sorry i told you i had an spf right because i did a short skincare routine and worked out the skincare routine did include spf i need to break down the spf with a cleansing balm i almost forgot so i do need to use a cleansing balm in in the morning but like I said you may not have to do that depending on what your steps were before you washed your face so the cleansing balm that I have here at the sink is this one by soap and glory it's the balm to milk transformation in the palm of your hand cleansing balm okay now this one has vitamin C and a in it the thing is it's a wash off product so you're not gonna get much from the vitamin C and a but like maybe the a the hydration but you know 
there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So I'm taking some of this. It looks like pressed coconut oil, you know, when it's pressed, but very smooth. So I'm taking some of this. I do take a heavy hand. I have so many products. I just, I need to get through all of them. So I took a lot, all right? If you purchase this, I don't think you need to take this much, especially without makeup on, but you know, I don't need to work my way through these things, okay? So rubbing my hand through, and as you can see, it's still a little clear, but it looks a little milky too, right? Do you see the milkiness of it? Beautiful. Rub it onto the skin. I used to always feel like this felt so wrong, putting something, basically an oil on the face, but as I grew and learned more, and more about skincare i'm like nah son this is actually the way we need to do it because you're breaking down the spf you don't want to have leftover spf on your face you want to get a clean start basically for me my second skincare routine this morning you want to get a clean start to it this is going to break everything down now if you were doing your skincare routine after you had on makeup you would certainly still do this because you need to break down the spf now i am going to go over my eyes i'm just not doing it right now because <laughs> I need to see you, <laughs> all right? But rub this all over the face. Let me show you what happens once I put water on this, okay? I got some water on my hand and look, it's emulsifying, turning into more of a milky substance. And this is further breaking it down. Now this one in particular, now that I'm looking at it again, it's not getting as milky as other cleansing oil products have that I use, but that doesn't mean that it's not working. It's just not getting as milky. Let me rinse this off and then we're gonna hop into cleanser. All right, now you'll still probably see some of the product on your face, whatever, we are gonna wash it all off with now back to the Thayer's pH Balancing Daily Cleanser. I like to take a lot, like I said, it's like a jelly substance. Rubbing that together. Now this is a gentle cleanser, like I said. It doesn't feel stripping at all. Usually the stripping cleansers get extremely sudsy, at least in my experience. I don't use stripping cleansers anymore, so I can't say if they've changed things up a little bit. But And like I said, I've been enjoying it. I've used this in the morning without, like days where I have not worked out and I just felt like, you know, I feel like washing my face today. Or let's say my skin was peeling and I woke up with dead skin like just sitting on my face and I just wanted to wash it gently. I've used this and I have not felt stripped in the morning, so I have been enjoying this. It's just so interesting because I'm sure many of you branded Thayer's as like, ah, you know, like, eh, 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 you know. It's gonna strip my skin so dry, I'm gonna look like leather. No, I haven't had that experience at all, baby. So let's rinse this off right now. Okay, 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 now we have cleansed our face so it's clean and then we're going to exfoliate i used to make the mistake where i would exfoliate before i washed my face i've lived and learned that is not the right way to do it okay okay so i'm using the dermalogica daily microfoliant got a little bit of water in the product and i'm rubbing it around i don't want to make a mess i've made the mistake of taking too much water when i've done this but i really want it to be more of a paste right now so that's what i was trying to achieve and then put this onto your damp face and rub it all around. And now we are exfoliating. Get the nose, get in between the eyebrows, get the chin. You can also get your lips, right? I wanna make sure we exfoliate our lips. This stuff, girl, if you've used this, let me know. Let me get a little bit more water. Immediately when I rinse this off, glass skin. So this I love, and you can mix this in with your cleanser if you wanted to, but I like to do it separately. And you can leave it on a little bit and then rinse it off. But girl, either way you do it, glass skin immediately. <laughs> wow, this is my first time achieving this like a paste. Normally I do this in the shower. Let's wash this off now. And now that we have this on, I'm gonna just do eye cream really fast because as you can see, it's absorbed to my face. So let's move on. Awaken Peptide Eye Gel from Dermalogica, baby. Brings of the finger on the top and the bottom. You wanna do a good eye cream, I can't lie. Sometimes I skip this product and I put my serum around my eyes and I keep it pushing, but uh, we wanna do better than that, you understand? So here we go, focusing it really all over the eye. Don't skip the top. Definitely get the corners. When you use an eye cream, you'll see your concealer look a lot better too underneath your eyes. If you feel like your under eye area is dry with your concealers and your makeup and all that stuff, make sure that the area around your eyes, really your whole entire face, make sure that it's all hydrated, all soft and plump and all of that. Get a good eye cream, okay? 
Now this is new, Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum, okay? Vitamin C Serum is perfect to use in the morning time because you're gonna put your SPF on and both together work really well. So this is waterless, so it's oily, all right? And I used to feel like there was something wrong with that, like it needed to be more hydrating to absorb into the skin, but I like this waterless option as well. See how I'm patting it into the skin? I don't wanna disrupt anything underneath, which we just put on hyaluronic acid. So I'm patting this in and just letting it work on its own. So don't forget, vitamin C, you do wanna put on the skin in the morning time with your SPF because both work so well together to protect the skin from the sun's harmful UV rays, okay? So if you're using a vitamin C serum, I want you to let me know which one. If you've tried this one, although it's new, do you have it? Have you tried it? What do you think about it? But look at that glow, okay? Even though it's summertime, springtime, don't be afraid of this glow. Don't be afraid. If you saw my video on the summer must-haves and the foundation and primer and, and setting spray that you want to use or I'm recommending that you use this summer, then you'll understand that, you know, you're going to do other things to bring down the shine on the face later. Don't feel like your skincare routine has to be completely drying in preparation for that. You do want your skin to look and feel hydrated, healthy, plump, youthful, all of the things, okay? Now this is tacky, I like it. I'm glad I did the patting in as opposed to rubbing because I don't think this product would work well with rubbing. So it has 10% L-ascorbic acid, the most potent form of vitamin C, to visibly brighten firm and reduce the look of dark spots. And this actually says you can use it in the morning and night. When it comes to dark spots, I get lots of questions on this. There are lots of things you need to do to prevent or treat the dark spots. The thing is, you wanna make sure that if it's acne causing the dark spots, you treat the acne, see a dermatologist. If it's I don't know, scars or like scratches or I don't know what else. You wanna first of all address what is causing the dark spots. And then of course, if you've been here for a while, I used to have a lot of dark spots on my chin. We're not seeing much anymore, okay? And that's because of my whole entire skincare routine. So using stuff like a vitamin C, SPF is important too. If you do nothing else except wear SPF, at least you've done something well because we cannot skip SPF, okay? We're gonna get there, but I just wanna say that now, just in case you're itchy and you're like you gotta go, make sure that you at least are using SPF. There's so much to this skincare stuff. It's very personal. There are lots of nuances to it, but I hope that you're getting some understanding as I'm explaining things to you because I know it can be confusing. I just, as I explain it, I feel like it's confusing. Now, when it comes to moisturizer, you can, of course, do a moisturizer with SPF. That's easy, two in one. You can, of course, like what I'm gonna do right now, do a moisturizer separate from your SPF. Either way it works is good for me, okay? Just make sure you're doing an SPF. I wouldn't skip moisturizer because I have dry skin and I like moisture on my skin. I like hydration on my skin. I just want that. You wanna know the keys to my great skin? Of course, there's genetics. Of course, there's skincare routine. And I love to keep the hydration there, okay? So this is a good affordable option, the Inky List Omega Water Cream. It's lightweight and it's hydrating. So this to me is great for the morning time, taking some of that on my hand. And we are gonna rub this in and that's okay. The vitamin C is underneath. It has set, blah, blah, blah. And putting this onto the face. Don't feel like you need to rub and rub and rub and rub and rub. Just get it where it needs to go and leave it alone, okay? So here we have that. And I am coming down to my neck. I used to do my neck and chest all the time with all the products, but I have eczema and I found that sometimes I break out with contact dermatitis, which is the product contacted with me. <laughs> we got in contact and I broke out in a rash, okay? So I don't do so much on my chest anymore and my chest has been fairly clear. I just stick with hydration on my chest, okay? And it's just a little sensitive. Yeah. I know. Okay, this is a nice lightweight moisturizer. As you can see, don't be afraid of the shine. You still want to be hydrated, remember? We don't want to give a casket ready with our summer skincare routine. At least I don't. This next step should mattify everything down in a way. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Sunscreen Gel for the face. It's got broad spectrum SPF 45. It's ultra sheer, fragrance free, and water resistant for 80 minutes. So this is a chemical sunscreen. I prefer chemical sunscreens because they do absorb into the skin a lot easier. They are sheer. There's no problem with that. If you prefer a physical sunscreen or physical mineral, the same thing, then this is not gonna be an option for you. The issue with 
with physical slash mineral sunscreens is that usually they use they leave a white cast there are a few that once you've worked it into the skin left it alone to absorb they do absorb down and they are almost sheer like tolerable enough but you know, you really gotta try out a bunch to really see. So I tend to go for more of the chemical sunscreens. This one is chemical, like I said, SPF 45. Now this is a gel, which is interesting to me because I've never used an SPF gel before and I think it's supposed to leave me matte. So let's see. Interesting. Now I don't know how we're gonna get the two fingers because it's so gel. It's like, it's just not the same. So. I'm taking a lot. Okay, I think that's enough. Wow, I just took a lot of product. Okay, yeah. It feels like a gel, like a thick, <laughs> duh, it's a gel, but it feels like a, like a thick hair gel. Okay. All right. It feels like a primer. What primer, what primer, what primer? Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. You know how there are products where when you put it on, then it just goes, oh man. You know what I mean, where it, it just blurs the skin or something? It feels like that's what this is going to do, but it's not. So what's going on? This is my first time using this. What in the whole heck? You know, what in tarnation? Let's go down to the neck. We do need SPF on our chest too. We need it all over the body, okay? But yeah, we're talking about just up top here right now. When do we get matte? I was thinking that we'd be matte by now. Maybe this is not gonna be it. The, the girls who want matte, you know, what the whole heck? Yo, y'all told me this SPF was matte. I got, I bought this cause of you, what happened? Wow, it's giving gel. I do like the regular one, it's a lotion. I ran out, so I got this. This is not doing what I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> Like, I would have picked a different SPF, you know? Wow, okay, well, <laughs> let's give this time to absorb. <gasps> I'm so annoyed. I thought I was giving y'all a matte sunscreen. There are matte sunscreens out there that I know people have used that are actually matte. I'm gonna link an option below for you. Obviously, I don't have it, because I really, y'all told me this was matte, or maybe y'all just said that the box says matte, but y'all didn't actually try it. Or maybe you didn't use a lot because we are supposed to use an ample amount of sunscreen. And then of course, let our skin, let it all absorb and then do your makeup. This is not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> you know, uh, a little perplexed by that, shocked, in awe, bamboozled, you know, all the adjectives known to man. That's what I'm feeling right now. But like I said, I'll leave a matte option down below for you, but the routine still stands. Just finish off with something matte. It'll help when you are going forth with your matte primer, foundation, setting spray routine, which I did talk about in another video. I'll link that one below, right? All the things that you can start to stock up on or pull out of your drawer for the summertime to help you stay matte, okay? Do this routine and then move on to that video and follow those steps. Just skip this particular sunscreen if you are wanting to be matte because this is not going to help me stay matte. Here we are. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and my attempt. I will leave two videos here for you to watch after this one because you don't need me in a rush to go anywhere, okay? Your girls, your girls got time. If I got time, I know you have time. As always, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned a thing or two. Comment below and let me know what you learned and what you loved about the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.